What's going on guys? Covered Eagle here and wife. Yo. Back for another just gaming video. This is a kind of an interesting comparison. So we got us a switch during the um pandemic, whatever you want to call it. We were bored. Yeah. <laughs> and so we figured we'd throw a Super Mario Brothers 3 comparison. Uh the remastered new, whatever you want to call it, versus the retro. We'll let you guess which one is which. Surely hint, you can guess. Hint, hint. <laughs> look at all the, look at all the complete with, as uh, Jack Black would say, complete with authentic battle damage yes, on the bottom. Exactly. I think is this my Nintendo from when I was little? No. No. This one we bought That's off right. a friend. That's right. My parents still have my Nintendo. So, so as you can see, the play style is a little bit different. Um, I actually was the one playing on top. My wife was the one playing on the bottom screen. Because I hate change, so I stuck with the original system. We did our best to match everything up, but obviously we're going to play each level a little bit differently from each other. We were also both obviously born in the 80s and that we remember all these tricks. <laughs> For those of you that may ask, the reason the one on the bottom is actually widescreen, we actually um, retrofitted it so it would actually work with a newer TV. So it would actually hopefully show up so we could record. Yes. And it worked. Mostly. <laughs> Mostly. <laughs> Basically what we want to do is just give you a quick overview commentary and just have a little fun. So easily my favorite Super Mario game to play when I was younger and I think it's maintained to be my favorite. I would say it's maintained. It's probably still not my favorite anymore, but it has maintained in my top five. Was it your favorite ever? Or? Mm. No, okay. What was your favorite? Probably 64? Oh, 64 is brutal. Not 64. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, World. Oh, Super Mario World, sure, yeah. World on Super NES. But also, 64 was probably my top three. So I actually don't think I had a Super NES growing up. I had, obviously, the original Nintendo. I had a Sega Genesis. And then I think we kind of went from that to the N64. So I'm sh I played on a Super NES, but I don't know that I ever owned one. So if you're watching this video, hit us up in the comments. What was your favorite system and why? You know. Sega Genesis. Because of Sonic. Oh, I gotta go with Sonic. Right? I'm gonna go with Sonic. I can't really tell if he's doing it, but I'm very obviously trying to hit that card exactly the same way on each level, so I can get three of each. I don't know that I ever accomplished it. The trick is not that. The trick is to hit it full speed. No, because if you hit it super slow, you get the mushroom, I think. If you hit it full speed, you can get the star almost every single time. Right, which was what I was doing. <laughs> Although, I noticed when playing the um, the emulated version, I don't know if they made any changes or not, but it seemed like they did because you could hit that full speed and not get the star every time. Hmm. I thought it mattered on like where you hit it too, not just the speed. Now, for those of you watching... That was me getting really annoyed. You can't hear me, like, as I was playing that, but I was so irritated because I missed the warp whistle on that castle. Interesting. We hit Which the exact same <laughs> hole. <laughs> because we both missed the warp whistle. <laughs> oh, I knew the warp whistle was there. I just didn't want to get it. I just wanted to go through I was and trying, see how the level went. I was trying to get it, but when I went to turn around, I guess I accidentally pressed up on the D-pad, so it took me through the doorway. I was going for the Warp Castles are not my thing. Mine either. Yeah. Oop. I feel like getting the leaf is such a huge clue that, you know, there's something to be had. Because every other box is giving you the firepower. Mm-hmm. Should be. More puzzle. And this is where our paths diverge. <laughs> she went for the warp whistle. I think I, he probably just didn't remember the warp whistle. But like, I went for a reunion with the Oh, you missed the jump. I know, I missed the third oh, one. Oh, man. They get so much faster if you don't jump on them immediately. I will say one of the things I miss that I, I thoroughly enjoy in the newer games versus 
the older SNES series is the fact that you can wall jump. I... Oh, yeah. The fact that you can do that, like, it baffles me that you couldn't do that in games before. Because, like, right there you could wall jump and you'd be done. But no. Penalize you for trying to play. Oh, you didn't get up above the one. I noticed that after the fact. Okay. I think it was originally my brother that discovered the extra lives up above. And showed it to me. Remind me, is this the game that has the flip card table? Yeah, this is the flip cards. Ah, oh, this level. I'm so trepidatious on these levels. Any, like, similar level, if you've watched me play Crash Bandicoot, I, I am even slower on the Crash Bandicoot levels that require lots of jumping. I am just so bad at it. Don't mind the airplane flying above us. The things that happen when people get back to a sense of normal. We had sort of forgotten we lived that close to an airport <laughs> because we hadn't heard airplanes before. I personally like them. I grew up living next to bomber jets, so by comparison, just regular airplanes are really very quiet. <laughs> oh, you got the one up and I didn't. Yeah, and I can't remember why. Who like knows? I, I probably should have or something at that point. I can't remember. I think these warships were what made me like this game so much, because they were just so different from a boss castle. I liked that. Yeah, this should, uh... This should show, for those that are still watching, this should definitely show our difference in play styles. It also shows how well we both remember this game and that we have it memorized. <laughs> Muscle memory is an amazing thing. I will say, I've played most of the original Mario games also on the Switch, and I cannot for the life of me use the joystick to play them. I absolutely must use the D-pad to play these games. I don't know how anyone can use the joystick. But it drives my son nuts when he watches me play. Also, there's an unspoken rule in our house that every time you defeat one of these Kooplings, you must jump and grab the magic wand in the air so you're doing splits in the air. Yes. It doesn't and you'll count. see that going forward. It doesn't count unless you've jumped for it. <laughs> I don't really know how that got started. It just seems so much cooler to win with the jump. Yeah. My brother used to try to make up different voices for each of the kings. It's pretty good at it. Well, guys, we're going to end our <laughs> video with that. We beat the first world, and that's kind of our comparison. Mm -hmm. If you want to see more of that, hit that subscribe button, get a like. This is Covert Eagle. See you in the next video.